Hi there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Pritam and in this 85th video of this PTC Creo Parametric series. If you want to follow us along from scratch then do check out the complete playlist that I have added in the description of this video. Also do subscribe to Engineering Pritam to follow more topics related to engineering. Okay, so now let's come back to today's topic which is style tool. So far we have covered basic surfacing that we can generate using the tool for example extrude, revolve, sweep or we also have tried some dedicated tool for example boundary blend. We also saw some of surfacing tool for example this freestyle that let us draw or form any shape naturally. But when we talk about the advanced surfacing in PTC Creo, then style tool come into play. This tool is also known as interactive surface design extension. So if you are developing a product that involves aesthetic looks or extended use of surfacing, then you should ask your company or IT to buy it because this tool let you create advanced surfaces and probably we may not able to cover it in one video. So let's start this tool by clicking on it and here you can see as soon as i clicked on it we are now in a different environment and you can also see the number of tools available in this mode so here we can create curve we can also create surface and then uh, we have got dedicated tools available right into same group to make necessary changes then we have this dedicated analysis tool available here so I would say most of these tools are already available here in this analysis but here what you are getting is all the necessary ingredient at one place and obviously more advanced curve and surface creation tools. Okay now uh, I would say even the environment or this graphics toolbar is different because now what we can do here is uh, we can also split our view and can see how the surface is being created okay so let's say if i want to go in uh, normal mode we can again click on this option this toggle button which is so all view and again if i toggle it on you can see how it is so this view is only available in case of the surfacing and i would say is very useful because let's say if i am trying to draw this curve here i can see in different different view how this curve look like and that help you to create a complex 3d geometry okay so now let me again toggle it off and there we go so we just had a quick glimpse of this interactive surface design extension or sometimes known as isdx or if you want to find the tool in ptc creo is known as style now um, whenever let's say we want to work in a certain plane here it's not like you know you need to simply click on a plane and then you start drawing the sketch up uh, it is slightly different i would say all you need to do in order to work in any plane you need to go here on the top and then you need to click on set active plane okay and then you need to select the plane where you would like to work so let's say you would like to work on right plane click on it and there we go so here this grid shows which plane is actually active okay and then obviously we can press ctrl and d to go back to my standard orientation that kind of give you which plane actually you should select so again if i click on select active plane select this plane and that's how we can change our plane okay now again let me go back to split view and there we go so here you can see this particular view is the standard view and then we can also see uh, different different views and apart from view here again i can see the active plane orientation now let's say i would like to orient this view to active plane so i can select this option which is active plane orientation now here we can see the active plane is parallel to my screen and if we talk about these views area then we can always customize it let's say we would like to work in this particular view you can increase the size of this view and then probably we can start working on it now let's talk about some more tools being added here so just like annotation here we can see we can enable or disable surface display or curve display 
and this tool is quite handy let's say you know you only want to work with curve that time you can disable surface display which we're going to see in later part and let's say when you only want to work on surface you can disable curve display so these both tools i would say are quite handy whenever we are working on intricate geometry now again let me click back on so all of you and now as we know the function of this active plane orientation so no matter what your orientation is as soon as you're going to click on active plane orientation it will bring you back uh, the active plane and will make it parallel to screen now we also have option to change the view for example this one you just saw it will keep on changing the view and uh, it will change view in between top view front view right view and then isometric trimetric so all you need to do you need to click on it and then it will keep on changing the view as can be seen here and then this is for visual mirror um, if you enable it then what will happen is whenever let's say you are working on any curve and you would like to see how the mirror will look like so all you need to do is you need to enable it then select the symmetric plane and there we go here we can see virtual mirror of this curve and since this is mirror so you have not actually created this okay it is just a mirror it, it's not actual mirrored object and now let me again click on it to disable it so that's how you can use this tool so this video was more on introduction to style interface or advanced surface design extension interface and in our next video of this ptc creo parametric series we probably will start with curve group i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to engineering freedom to follow more such tutorial also if you are interested in buying any pc or accessory please do check out our another channel which is negi tech where we talk about pc laptop and other related accessories there you will find pc related tutorial or for example you would like to build your cad station so if you are interested in that kind of stuff then i would recommend you to subscribe to that channel as well thanks guys and let's catch each other in one such another video till then you take care and bye bye